Welcome back to the shop. Bob here for the old Iron Lever channel. And uh, we're going to embark on a project I've been wanting to do for a long time, probably years. And uh, it's not anything real magic, but there might be some things that you, you see that you like. So um, basically I have some heavy tooling for my, for my milling machine, mostly, a little bit for the lathe. But like a, a dividing head and a, you know two vices and some other vices and uh, you know all that kind of stuff. And uh, the older I get, surprisingly, I find that less things I can lift. <laughs> so uh, we're going to make it easy to get the stuff on and off of the on and off of the mill and just and move it around. So um, guess we'll get on with it. Well, this is the card I'm talking about. Um, I had, you can see this, the, the one chuck and the holder for the sled for the other chuck uh, is a base for, a rotary base for a uh, Kurt vise, and on the end there, there's a two-piece vise that you can put on the mill for longer items. And then also on the top of this cart was this um, dividing head and this rotary table and this Kurt vise and that Kurt vise and the center for the uh, rotary table or the dividing head. Um, all of that weighs a bunch and one of the problems is with the uh, spindly little wheels on this thing is they didn't rotate around their axle and they didn't rotate around their shank shank or mounted to the cart uh, very well uh, so you wind up kind of dragging the thing around the cart itself is fine. I think it's got plenty of, you know, it's beefy enough. So, um, first thing I'm going to do after I finish cleaning all this junk off of it is uh, put some wheels on it. And the wheels I'm using are the same ones I used on that list of cabinet down there. This is the wheels. They come in a, a kit from Amazon. And they're not terribly expensive, they're like, uh, I want to say 30 bucks for a set of four, something like that. And they're rated, I believe, at five, four or 500 pounds each. So, um, and they have nice big wheels, they have brakes on them. Uh, this ought to be a, a, a huge improvement just in the wheels themselves. Now, as far as the design elements, or the design parameters for this thing, um, I, I ran my mill table up and down, and it ran, it runs from 35 inches to 42. I can't 33 to 42. I think was the height difference, and so I wanted these uh, carts uh, shelves to line up with it, so I can basically slide stuff off of the cart and right onto the onto the table. Uh, the idea is that the bottom shelf down there will have light stuff like the the chucks and uh, the two-part vise and you know, some stuff like that. This second shelf, um, I want to have uh, at least the two Kurt vices. Maybe it may be the room for something else. And then I was going to step up a little bit here um, and build another shelf with enough room for the vices to come in and out. And that shelf would have the dividing head and the uh, rotary table on it. And I want to modify this cart considerably. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do with the vise is figure out some way I can smoothly slide things off of the off of the table and right onto the the mill table. And the same thing on the other side uh, depends on how I set it up. I'll either have a uh, some kind of smooth surface on top of the shelf or I'll have a three side four sided or three sided shelf like this with the the one edge missing and maybe folded down so I still have the rigidity and I can slide right off of the shelf right onto the uh, right onto the uh, mail table so anyway um, you'll see more about this and I've got some ideas of how to make it even even nicer than what I'm describing so Okay, I got the bottom frame for the casters um, clamped up and ready to weld. My original thought was uh, the width of the plate that the caster 
has the, the part of the caster, the mounting plate, is exactly the same width as these, and I thought, well, that's perfect, except for the round inner uh, surface in here takes up some of that space, and I'm not able to get a bolt in there. So uh, I'm going to weld it up like this. These are all flush, as flush as they need to be, and then I'll piece in a, a little piece of like quarter inch or something to make up the rest of the square, and then I'll have a big place to mount the wheels. Okay, once I have all these snugged down, then I will drill two more holes over here on the sides and uh, put in more bolts. So there'll be three bolts in each corner. The sheer strength of a quarter-inch bolt is plenty for that. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, there's the first piece done. Um, Got some heavier duty wheels, uh, a frame around the legs to stabilize them, and uh, they're also an inch higher, which helps with the height of the cart versus the height of the table on the mill. So uh, next step is going to be converting that top shelf into some sort of uh, storage for the Kurt vices and some way to easily slide them out and put them on the on the table. So. Uh, we'll come back to that when we get it all figured out. Okay, all the uh, welding and grinding and painting and things is done, or almost done, close enough. Uh, so we're getting uh, ready to assemble everything. Uh, the cart's all there, uh, painted top and bottom. It's not a piece of fine furniture, it's an industrial cart, so the paint's there for rust prevention, and that's it. Um, so this piece here is the uh, framework for the upper shelf and it sits right inside of here. We'll be drilling the corners and bolting those in. Uh, these pieces here sit inside the framework there and they're like so and they're the rails for the, it uh, goes like that. So they're the rails for the uh, uh, curt vices to slide in and out on. And on top of the uh, uh, framework here, this plate will sit in there and the, the other, this is a 10 gauge plate. Uh, it'll sit in this frame, which is open on this side and closed on the other three sides. So we have some control over things sliding around on the cart. That's where the uh, dividing head and the rotary table will sit. They're the heaviest items. Well, sh quick shout out to Randy Richard. I uh, got this carbide scribe from him a long time ago when he first started making them. And, uh, you know, it's been wonderful. It's been just foolproof. <laughs> uh, I've used it and used it and used it and never had any problem with it. So I'm going to be, you know, marking all my holes uh, with that. And thank you, Randy. And I'll be drilling with uh, these uh, drill bits that have a standard shank, but they have a, a get close enough, you can see that. They have a step drill on the end, and especially for drilling th thinner things like this, 
uh, it just it just drills that crazy. I'm real happy with them. Um, I'll put a link down in the, in the description as to, you know where I got these. So if in case you want them, they're not real cheap, but I think they're worth the money. I'm drilling them a 32nd oversize, and these screws are not long enough, so I'm going to have to get some better screws. Or I could do them without a lock washer. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and so on and so forth. No use boring you with uh, 15 more holes. <laughs> okay, this is the first part done. Um, the curse will sit in here and here. There's a place here I've got a, a two-part vise. I'll probably store it in here. Uh, so everything's uh, going good so far. I, I like these little uh, uh, flathead screws. They're not flathead. They're, I don't know. It's their, their, Special screws. <laughs> anyway, I um, ran into a problem. I don't have enough of them to do the corners, and I think I will run to the hardware store and get some more. Well, there's the finished product. Um, this isn't welded or tacked in place. I'll run a, a few skip welds around there. Uh, room for the vices, all the miscellaneous stuff underneath. I got a good set of wheels on it now, so that card will actually roll. Uh, the, the old wheels were tiny. <laughs> get this. There we go. Yeah, the old wheels were tiny, and they just they didn't even roll. They didn't they didn't spin. They didn't do anything when there was some weight on it. So uh, anyway, um, by the way, these I got at Amazon. A set of five, four of them uh, is a little over thirty bucks. And they are rated at 550 pounds per wheel. So, uh, and, and I've got them on several other carts, and they, they work great even with heavy loads on them. So, anyhow, um, I'm going to finish touching it up a little bit and uh, let the paint harden a little more, and then we'll look at putting, uh, see how it works. We'll give it a try. Well, here's the finished product with all the uh, tooling loaded. Uh, the bottom shelf has got the sleds for the two chucks for the lathe and the base, the rotary base for the Kurt uh, vices, which I almost never use. Uh, the second tier has uh, spots for two of the Kurt vices, one of them's on the mill. And on the far left is the uh, center, tailstock center for the um, dividing head and the two part uh, uh, vices for the mill. Vice. And on the top is the dividing head on the left and the rotary table on the right. And uh, the rotary table is sitting up higher because it needs room for the handle to clear. Uh, on the, uh, it, it's always been lower than the bottom of the, of the uh, rotary table. The dividing head is a little heavy to be sliding around. It, it, even now it still doesn't slide very easily onto the table. And I may just use this eye bolt and uh, this crane uh, set up to pick it up and put it on the table. Um, it could be done either way, but I think the easier way is to grab it with the, with the crane. And here you see the dividing head in the position to slide off onto the uh, table. 
Well, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe it was informative. I give you some ideas about how to do similar operations with with your own shop. So, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the uh, channel, subscribe, please. I always like to have subscribers. We've uh, snuck up to a little over 3,000, so uh, that's a pretty good size audience in a in a movie theater. <laughs> and. Um, if you have a comment you'd like to leave, you think I'd like to hear, well, be, by all means, I welcome comments. And Until the next video, uh, happy trails.